Rugby. Now, taking a tour of the pits is par for the course these days for some fortunate F1 fans on a Grand Prix weekend, but it's not every day you get a personalised tour courtesy of a world champion. Well, that's exactly what happened this week as Lewis Hamilton took us through the ins and outs of Vodafone McLaren. Hi, I'm Lewis Hamilton, and I'm here to show you around the Vodafone McLaren Mercedes the garage. Follow me. So here I'm going to take you through to uh, the engineer's room. And this is where we, all the engineers from, um, from the gearbox, from, uh, from the mechanic, mechanical side, they all congregate here to watch. Um, so I sit, I sit just here, actually. This is my little spot, and usually I come in here. Um, we, look up, we look over data, we read, have files. I sit with um, head engineer and assistant engineer. We talk about the... This is where we do the debrief after the, after the test. So we go out and practice, we come back here afterwards, and you know whatever changes that I need for the next session, we usually congregate here and have a chat. Jensen sits across the table, so we always have... Um, the, the feedback from both of us is clear and open to both of us. We have the guys over that side generally working on the gearbox, um, gear ratios and gear shifts and those kind of things. Um, down this end are usually the aero guys behind you. Um, and then we have here, this, th these guys here during the race, they're constantly watching these screens. And on these screens they have all the data of the, feed the feedback that's coming from the car and they'll be able to tell us, um, they'll be able to analyze you know, how the, the, the temperature of the fuel, the temperature of the, the engine, the, the oil temperature, and making sure that everything looks well. And if I've got any problems, any feelings in the car, if I say, um, I have a strange feeling on my left front, they're able to, to pretty much check uh, everything from here and say, everything's okay, Lewis, and put my mind at ease so I can continue, to continue doing my job. I like to know everything about my car, so when I come in after my practice session, I can pretty much dictate what I want. I know exactly what change I need. I know uh, what part of the car that needs to be changed, and when they're talking about the car, I need to have a very good understanding of what what they're talking about so um, I, I definitely feel since I've been in Formula One it's been a, uh, a pit, uh, quite a, a key element to my development and to win the world championship I don't think I would have been able to do it if I didn't have any clue about the car so it's quite important as you, know, as you can see the garages we have I think we have like two two garages pretty much and it, it's we have to squish everything we have the media guys the engineers the um, the mechanics everything has to be squashed in so it's very kind of tight so here is um, we have all these compute systems back here. There's a lot of a lot of hardware back there, and in here is where the guys are constantly analysing um, the oil and the fuel. So this is really where everything's made sure it's perfect for the car. Um, and these guys are mega experts. And this is where we can gain this of time, performance and reliability comes from the oil and the lubricants. So this is really the lubricant area, but mainly for the engine. Can you give us a little bit of explanation exactly what you're doing here? Yes, of course. Um, this is uh, for checking the conformity of the race fuel so that uh, we're always conform uh, and uh, uh, meet the regulations. And on this side, we have an oil analyzer for checking the health of the engine and the gearbox and all the components on the race car. And then we come down here. I'm going to take you into... So this is, a, this is the whole garage. We have a little section here for all the, uh, the VIP guests and the sponsors. So during the race and during qualifying, the, 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 uh, uh, the guests, the VIP guests come and sit in here with the closed doors. And they can, you know, it's, they can pretty much just watch everything that goes on my car and goes on Jensen's car and get to have a look at what's going on. And they can also watch the, the telemetry. So the, the lap times, the, the way, the, how the race is planning out. And they get to listen also to what we're doing in the car and what we're saying to the engineers. So it's it's kind of a cool experience for them. Let's take you a little bit into the into the garage. Just my side of the garage here. So I have my group of guys. We've got Jensen's car on that side. And um, from some t from race to race, it changes whether I'm that side or that side. It depends what track what way the track is. But uh, we have a, sense, a center island here. In the past. In the past, the engineers used to be uh, on that side of the wall and that side, so we were quite far away from each other. Is where they've designed this the last year. So, you know, my, me and my guys, we stand here, my engineers, we can look at it, the, the, the lap times, the sector times we're losing, improving, 
Jensen's on the other side of that, and we're all plugged in by radio, so we can all chat. I can hear what Jensen's saying about his car. Um, so it's real, real teamwork, and it's open. Whatever I find in my car, um, improvements, or he might say to me, how do you feel about that setting? I'll say, it feels really good. You should, you can, you should try it. You might like it, and vice versa. So it works really, really well as a, you know, I don't think you see this in many other teams. It's a real, real team effort here.